Okay, let's start with uh, 5.1. The question we've got is the steel column, 500 millimeters diameter, thickness 16, uh, 5 meters long. Uh, what I've been asked to term the critical load. So that number there haven't been told anything about it so therefore I'm going to assume that it's just pinned as uh, so I use k equals 1 so we've got to find the critical load for it to buckle We're going to take k equal to 1. E is 200 gigapascals. Uh, what else? L equals 5 meters. I, I need to find. Uh, okay, so it's just really find I. So f to find I, I'm going to use pi big D to the power 4, take away little d to the power 4 over 64 so that's big D and then we've got the inner little d okay so we want to be working in um, SI units so meters so pi, so I'm going to use 100, big D to the power 4, take away what's the inner, that's 100, take away 16 twice, so that will be 64, to power 4, that will be in millimeters, so to make that into meters that will be times 10 to the minus 12 over 64 so what's that give me pi times 100 to the power of 4 take away <coughs> 68 to the power of 4 Oops. Uh, divided by 64 and this is going to be divided by 1 to the 12, say. So m uh, meters to the power of 4, 8.3.859 times 10 to the minus 6 meters to the power of 4. So I've now got my I. So let's stick it all in. P critical equals pi squared times e so that's 200 to the power giga is going to be g9 times by 3.859 to the minus 6 divided by l so that's 5 squared, and we're taking k to be 1. So that gives me 300 and 4.7 kilo newtons. Critical load, so it's in newtons. Okay. All right. So what I have to do for, for that one.